Good morning. Thank you very much for the invitation. I was very happy to participate in this special event. I speak about the AM radio in Argentina. In my country, radio emerged on August 27, 1920, with the force of a group of enthusiasts who were now as the crazy people on the roof, people who experimented with the new media. That initial broadcast was one of the first broadcast transmission in the world and radio was the first technological instrument that incorporated a new wave of perception. The radio always had a great fascination and attraction for audience. Since its creation, it has been a privileged setting for concerts, through operas, live broadcasts, and creative advertising shows. Precisely, the study of radio, its programs, and its audience expose us to the social dynamics of a certain historical period its actor and the way in which radio programs, advertising and news were conceived. Broadcasting in Argentina has been a field that generates symbolic and material good since its creation in 1920 and its first steps marked a decisive orientation towards entertainment and spectacle. During the so-called national reorganization process, 1976-1983, in Argentina, the media and journalists suffered from prohib prohibition, censorship, persecution, disappearance, and death. On the radio, did not remain in moon. Regulatory framework. For many years, a broadcasting law of the military dictatorship was in force. It was not until October 10, 2009, that the so-called Audiovisual Communication Service law, better known in the Argentina context as the med media law, was enacted by the President Cristina Fernández de Kirchner and replaced the Broadcasting Law Institute in 1980 by the military dictatorships. Current situation. Radio has always been a, a media with a very high penetration in our country for years, the number of receivers per uh, 1,000 inhabitants reveals that Argentine consume radio at the same level as Europe, well above the rest of the Latin American countries and only considerably surpassed by the United States. Listen in habits. Uh, radio has a penetration of more than 80% on weekly basis in, in the three main cities of Argentina, as shown by the studies and analysts of Cantar y Bopi Media in the country. On a daily basis, this reach is above uh, 60% listening time in one of the highest in the region, with an average of 5 hours and 30 minutes. The traditional radio device in the most used for radio consumption in the three cities that register equivalence in the platform used for listening. Um, in second place, there is the, the car that shines in its space at semi exclusive center of radio consumption. The podium is complete by the FM ship that is installed in cell phones and that has allowed listening to radio over the air. 
that is analog. It is noteworthy that the, all the platforms connected to the internet have a low penetration, and that it does not grow over the years. The reason in place shows that the homes and the cars are the most preferred place, while the workspace also could be a relevant place among the situation where listening turn on the radio. Listening to AM radio in Buenos Aires, the only place where it's measured uh, on a monthly and systematic basis, show relative stability that led is to accept the use of FM during the COVID-19 pandemic. In 2022, AM station turn is barely higher that uh, pre-pandemic turnaround. This is due to a general situation where the radio managed to recover the audience loss during the social isolation and grow about the numbers of uh, 2019. I am listening explain 31% of radio use in Buenos Aires. However, this percentage is more related to content does than to technology. In cities like Cordoba, Mendoza or Rosario, where AM station can broadcast in duplex over an FM frequency, participation does not exceed 20% of the audience, and this situation are more listening to own the FM and dials. Cadena 3 of Córdoba, LT, LT3 from Rosario, I'll be 10 from Mendoza are examples of this. The Argentine Hawaii audience curve shows that prime times between uh, 9 hours and uh, 13, more particularly between 10 and 12 a.m. A change that reflects the impact of the pandemic is that the first morning is loot from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. when uh, from second to third place in number of audience being surpassed by the first afternoon slot. Among the socio-demographic characteristics of the a.m. radio audience, it can be found that this was marked the majority of male listeners, uh, much more than FM. That, and that is audience to mainly over 40 years of age. According to that the British uh, Biodinational Communication Entity, Argentina has uh, 251 regularized AM station, so the country in official figures in indicate the existence of some 330 AM station through the country between legal and unlicensed. The regular stations are found mainly in five districts that are the largest in the country, the province of Buenos Aires, Santa Fe, the city of Buenos Aires, Mendoza and Córdoba. These five provincial states concentrate 45% of all amplitude stations. Of the total of uh, 251 AM station, 40% belong to state entities for agency, provincial and municipal governments, the National Public Media Service and universities, agglomerated the number of stations, radio and television, Argentina. The public company that uh, brings together the broadcasting media of the national state brings together 33 AM stations through the country. The Catholic Church has 9 AM stations, many more than FM, in the national territory 
while public universities have another six stations. The monitoring of many our uh, ships goes out by reporters without borders and the newspaper Tiempo Argentino shows that if data are taken from the three main urban centers of the country, Buenos Aires metropolitan area, Greater Rosario and Greater Cordoba. In 20, um, uh, one I, and eight, find uh, high levels of uh, market concentration, and when contemplating the station of all categories, AM, FM, music, and news, in the three markets, the level of audience concentration of the four main business groups is uh, 53%. Clearing groups with uh, 19% uh, radio media in the three cities, La Sion Radio in Córdoba and MBA in Buenos Aires and FM Mia in Córdoba, Grupo Indalo with um, more or less uh, 50 percent, Radio 10, one megapops unveiled in uh, Buenos Aires City, the merged station of the uh, Brisa and Alba Vision groups with 12 percent, Continental, Los uh, 40, uh, QB Aspen and Match Radio in uh, Buenos Aires City and Group America with uh, 6 and 5 percent. La Red and Blue in Buenos Aires City, La Red del Siglo and LT8 in Rosario. Grupo Clarín, Clarín Group is the largest and most billing groups in the local market, but for years it's income and the hearts of its operation in the local market have been in the telecommunication market with its paid television company, Cablevision, home internet, FiberTel, and mobile technology, Telecom. Level of concentration that he unlocked during the management of Argentinian President Mauricio Macri. The Argentine radio market is vigorous and has a good relationship with its audience. Within these frameworks, AM radio has good news because its contents become relevant to radio listeners. However, this present has much more to do with content than with technology. The technological and regularity situation of the country shows that in the face of equal content between AM and FM frequencies, audience choose the second. However, this situation is not widespread for so the country. The possibility of authorizing this duplex transmission or promoting the transfer of the station to modulated frequency could place AM in a weak situation in terms of audience. On the other hand, its content have remained unchanged for some decades and the general programming support by the car interface, magazine formats explain most of the schedules. In this sense, IM stations are produced for an adult and often male listener. In this framework, the futures of AM in Argentina seems to be warranted more by a matter of content than technology. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much.